Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, building experiences that connect, remove friction, and deliver insights. Well, hi, everyone, and welcome to our podcast. I'm Ed Kless, and with me today is my Sage colleague, Rache Wells. Rache joined Sage in 2021 as a workforce management intraday analyst. His mission is to guide and provoke organizations to optimize business results through leadership development and customer service motivation. He is able to reach participants by helping them to become better leaders through his thought-provoking and inspiring speeches. He joined Toastmasters in 2007 in grad school at Jackson State University. He currently serves as the Sergeant at Arms of the Sage Corporate Club, and he is the winner of the District 14 Humorous Speech Contest in 2022. Welcome to the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast, Roche. Thank you for having me. Well, first off, Rache, why do you do what you do? Simply, I love helping people. I like helping people reach the potential they don't even know that they have. There's a show that's been on Showtime um, with, <clears throat> and I can't totally remember the name now, but it was Don Cheeto. He was on it, and he had this phrase, I'm just borrowing your watch to tell you the time. And that's what I think being a, being a motivational speaker, a motivational person is. You already have all the tools you need. You just need to know how to use those tools. So basically, having people reach their full potential. And we want to talk about two things today. First, what do you think about the advantages of being in Toastmasters are from a, a business perspective? Toastmasters. <clears throat> Toastmasters is just a true love of mine because it helped make me a better person. I can get in front of audiences and speak and tell something or give a conveying story. I can do things to just be amazed. And I can actually get up in front of people on stage and make a speech that's humorous. And then when in my club level, which I had to compete against the clock, again at the area level, compete against the clock, then at the division level where I actually had competition and won, and then all the way to the district level and won. Toastmasters helped me get there because I am a very, very, very shy person. To do this today, I'm able to do with Toastmasters. So Toastmasters helps build people, it helps build people with their confidence uh, level where they didn't know they had confidence, they didn't believe they could do something, and their leadership and communication skills. To be a great leader, you have to have great communication skills. If any leader who's been in a leadership position, if you're not able to communicate with the people you're leading, you're not able to lead them. So that's the great thing about Toastmasters. And that was what you talked about with regard to professional, but how has it helped you personally? Personally, and I kind of intertwine, intertwine the two personal and professional in there. Personally, it has helped me just be able to meet a lot of people on their on their level. And not just, I guess, totally personally, when I was laid off in 2019 um, from a job I really enjoyed, and all the Toastmasters are going to say, he said, oh. <laughs> one of the things Toastmasters does is it gets you aware of what you're doing when you say, uh, um, so you're aware of that, so you don't use those as much. Just one interject, uh, my first speech, 27 uh, um, so you got nothing on me. <laughs> <laughs> My club is going to be like, I can't believe he said, ah, uh-uh. he never said, uh-uh. I, I say I'm all the time. I'm just aware of it. But in 2019, I was laid off from my job. I've been in it for 11 years, 11 years to the date. Exactly. They laid me off on my anniversary, <laughs> January 7th. I interviewed, did several interviews and I basically was out of uh, having a um, good job or per se for about a year. And in the midst of it, I just realized you coach people on interviews and how to get jobs. You know how to do interviews. You know what to do, what to say, and how to do it. And I had to have a talk with myself, and I had to realize that confidence I used to have in myself when I was a part of Toastmasters. I did Not necessarily that I lost it, but I had um, been out of Toastmasters for almost about 10 years at that time when I moved to the state of Georgia from Mississippi. And I had to retell myself, confidence. It's not about what you know, because they know you know what you know. That's obvious on your resume. But you need to instill confidence in yourself that you know how to do what you can do. You can do it consistently and you can do it again. So there comes the thing with uh, confidence, consistency, confidence, courage and consistency. 
And those are three three things I kind of speak on also as well when I'm encouraging other people to have courage, to be confident in yourself, and be consistent. The three C's of Shayro. Shayro is my <laughs> nickname. It's Roche backwards, by the way. Okay, I like it. And I'm going to add another C in there, and I want to ask you to talk a little bit about the your involvement in the Continuous Improvement Day at Sage, which is about simplification and innovation. Thank you for bringing that up. Yes, I was fortunate enough to be one of the co-hosts for the Sim- Simplicity and Innovation Day, which means making things simple and innovating to make them better. And it was a joy to host that event. There was there were over 400 people internationally that tuned in to learn about simplification, making your job a lot easier, and innovation and tools that can help make your job a lot easier. And one of the highlights is I got to introduce the keynote speaker, Lisa Bodell. And one of the, the takeaways I take from her is stop with the stupid rules <laughs> or the rules that make no sense. That's my first takeaway is that these rules that make no sense, like, you know, before you clock in, you have to tap your head three times and then wink with your left eye while holding your right eye. It makes no sense. So those rules, we need to get rid of those. And that's one of the key takeaways I took from the entire event. She was a delight. I had a chance to interview her as well. And by the way, we will put a link to the Continuous Innovation homepage as well as the Sage Toastmasters Club uh, listed on Toastmasters.org for any colleagues of ours who are interested in potentially joining. And uh, Rache, we have an exit question that we ask all of our guests, kind of toastmasters oh, actually. Get, yeah, sure. For Sage employees, get in touch with us because for most of, most of the times, for the, in the U.S. at least, Sage pays for their membership. Yes. And they paid for mine way back when, when I so I know that we have precedent in that. But um, we have an exit question, and that is, who is a hero of yours, Roche, and why are they a hero? I absolutely love things about George Washington Carver. One of the reasons is, the first paper I did in school, I wrote it on George Washington Carver. Had, I knew he did a lot of things with the peanut, but had no idea about a lot of the things he did. The town he's from is, is was pronounced Nia Show in the show. I was actually in the Shoba County, Mississippi. And I liked how he just kept going. He did not let things stop him. No matter what situation he was in, he continued to go. He had applied for college and somewhere on the application, they forgot to ask him if he was black. And when he arrived and they found out he was black, they turned him away. That helped me instill in myself the slogan of using your situation as motivation. And that's my slogan when I'm having people that no matter what situation you're in, use that as your motivation to go forward to change. So George Washington Carver is one of my first heroes, first paper ever wrote, <laughs> which knowing how to write a paper in college paid off because if a class had a paper in it, I knew it was going to do well. If it didn't have a paper at the end of the year, I was like, oh, Lord, <laughs> what am I going to do? <laughs> And lastly, Roche, how can somebody contact you? The best way to contact me if you're at Sage is with email to Sage, Roche.wells at Sage.com. For personal, I like to use Shayro Speaks, that's C H E T R O S P E A K S at gmail.com. Make sure you had it right. I am on Instagram at Shayro.llc, C H E T R O dot L O C. That's on Instagram. And you can also reach me at what Shayro thinks about it underscore podcast. There's no I and thinks in there. And that's on Instagram as well. All right. Rache Wells, Workforce Management, Intraday Specialist and Toastmaster Extraordinaire. Thanks so much for being a guest on the Sage Thought Leadership Podcast. Thank you for having me. Review and subscribe by searching your podcast player of choice for Sage Thought Leadership Podcast.